Hey, what's up with you guys? Hope everybody is well. I want to give you an update on the Uniswap ROI pool section. Now, Uniswap ROI is a tool which allows you really to track and manage your liquidity on uh, original Uniswap, but now on Uniswap Curve, and I'm working on ready uh, to scope balancer. So the idea is really to cover all the uh, decentralized exchanges where you can provide liquidity. And I want to give an update on the pool section. So I'm here on Uniswap ROI, creating an account that's free. And then uh, I'm here, I clicked on pools. And uh, if you were a user before, you're probably familiar with these two tabs, which is, you know, Uniswap pools ranked either by the overall yield or by the overall liquidity. What I just added recently is the new tab, which is called Curve. And uh, basically it's the same thing for Curve, where you can really see the yield of all the different pools. We're going to do that in a second. And then I want to show you how you're going to be able to also add these pools into a virtual portfolio, simulate a virtual portfolio with Uniswap pools and Curve pools and do all the simulation you want. So first off, um, let's take a look at the table. So similarly to the other tables for Uniswap, here you see all the pools that are in Curve. Right now there are 19 pools. There are a few pools being added here and there. They're definitely like a smaller number compared to Uniswap when you consider in Uniswap everybody can have a pool versus Curve is a more more of a complex process. Um, so you can see the pools, you can see the current liquidity, how big they are. And then you can have um, two columns of return. So one uh, expected return from the pool, which means like from the fees uh, that Curve charges the user as well as the uh, landing of the underlying tokens, for example, the compound pool. And these are, by the way, these are all kind of 30 days ROI. So there's a component for the pool. Then there is a component from the CRV ROI. So basically this is CRV minting when you um, stake your LP tokens in the Curve Gauge. And here there is a range. Now, if you're familiar with Curve, you know the notion of the boost. You can lock some of the CRV in the voting escrow uh, contract. And by doing that, you can boost your flow of CRV uh, up to a rate of 2.5X compared to the baseline. So this is, that's why, you know, there is a range here and then there is a sum here uh, on a monthly basis. So for example, the Thry pool, you know, depending how much, uh, you know, boost you have is between uh, 0.91 and 2.18% uh, per month. And then this is the equivalent APR that you can, you can see right here. So um, basically the other, you know, before jumping in the virtual portfolio, just want to quickly show you also the optimizer. So now, there, I made a video about the optimizer um, some time ago, but I kind of put here at the bottom because many people were saying, oh, but where can I find the optimizer? Where can I find the optimizer? So the optimizer, you also have access from here. And with the curve optimizer, it basically given a certain amount of liquidity, let's say I have 10, I want to invest $10,000 in uh, pools, um, in liquidity pools on based on US dollars in curve. And uh, let's say I want, you know, to lock a thousand CRV in the voting escrow, for example. Now, basically, this optimizer will solve all sort of a nonlinear equation and give you the optimal allocation between all the USD uh, pools uh, that you, you know, can you can do on curve to maximize your yield, which is here at the bottom on a monthly basis. And uh, so, for example, just to give a real example, let's say we want to invest ten thousand dollars in uh, curve stable coins, uh, USD pools, and so and also lock a thousand CRV. So the tool is saying that we should uh, primarily uh, put them in the Y pool and the USDN pool. And uh, if we want to do the same for BTC pool, um, you know, it's saying that the prim primarily it's suggesting us to lock in the HBTC pool. So what we can do is basically uh, now build a virtual portfolio um, that uh, you know can reflect this and also add some Uniswap pools. So what we're gonna do, and uh, what I can do, is to come here and say, okay, so we said the Y pool and then the Neutrino pool, USDN. So I'm clicking on the plus button. Now, when I click on the plus button here at the top, my virtual portfolio starts to populate. And then let's imagine we also want uh, a BTC pool. So we said the HBTC pool was the best. So I'm gonna click here. And then uh, let's also assume that we want to mix some of the Uniswap pools. So, for example, I come on the Uniswap. And by the way, just a side note, you saw that, you know, once the uh, the Uni uh, reward in Uniswap uh, kind of uh, basically terminated, was terminated, the yield of some of this pool kind of really exploded. So we're talking now Ethereum USDT, Ethereum USDC, Ethereum DAI, you know, pretty much 50%, 40, 50% per year, which is pretty, pretty good. 
Um, so let's say I want also to have, you know, an Ethereum USDC and maybe an Ethereum uh, Uni pool. So I click on the plus button. I am kind of building my portfolio here. So what I'm going to do, so uh, let's now fill in the gap. So uh, since I have three uh, curve pool and two Uniswap pools, I can also uh, specify how many VCRV I plan to put. So we said at the beginning, we were putting a thousand, you know, planning to lock a thousand VCRV. And then, uh, so I, let's start with curve. So we said uh, we wanted uh, 10,000 on the uh, USD based uh, uh, stable coins pools. So, for example, I'm going to put, um, for example, 6,000 here, and we said uh, 4,000 on the neutrino pool. Then the HBTC is another, we put another 10,000. And let's say, for example, that I'm, we're going to put another 15K on the Ethereum USDC, and then another, I don't know, 10K on the uh, Ethereum Uni. Now, what basically the tool is, uh, is telling us is essentially how much is, is predicting how much this portfolio would generate. So it's $45,000 uh, in liquidity, this portfolio. It will probably yield uh, on a daily basis 40 bucks, 283 bucks on a monthly basis, uh, which an APR, which is combined at 32%. And, uh, you know, we can also say, okay, but what if, you know, instead of locking a thousand CRV, maybe we lock only 500 CRV. And so we can Im immediately see how the, uh, the essentially the yield will change. And basically what is really changing when I touch the B CRV, if you can see here, there is a boost, um, basically a label here. And so if I increase the number of CRV, the boost will, you know, pretty much go to uh, 2.5x for all the pools. But when I reduce it, it will kind of go down and, you know, differently depending by you know different factors the pool how big is the pool and so on and so forth and so with this you can really simulate um simulate a virtual portfolio build your virtual portfolio before you invest and really do the all the trade-offs so basically just to sum up what we saw is that from now in the pool section you can see all the yield of all the curve pools you can also access the optimizer the optimizer is really specific for curve and really gives you the feel in terms of the allocation, right? Like between the different pools. And then once you have a feel how you want to allocate within Curve, you can build your virtual portfolio and you can also mix and blend with, uh, you know, Uniswap liquidity and immediately see and calculate your yield on a daily, weekly basis and annual basis uh, and, and really understand all the trade-offs. So I hope this is helpful and this was insightful for you guys. As usual, you know, you find in the tool my personal contacts. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter at Federico Nitidi. You can uh, contact me directly on Telegram. And also, if you like content around DeFi and specifically decentralized exchanges and liquidity providing, um, make sure, sure you uh, subscribe to the channel. And uh, yeah, if you have any questions, thoughts, uh, let me know. And until next time, have a great day, guys, and talk soon. Enjoy your weekend.